Good morning guys, Tony Maritato, physical therapist here. And in this video, I wanna show you how to turn a simple over the door pulley system into a resisted cable system. So this is a 10 pound sandbag. It's something that I purchased on Amazon. Um, it, it's great because if I drop it, it doesn't matter. It's a sandbag, it's sturdy, it's soft, it's not gonna damage the flooring, it's not gonna scrape up my door. And those are important things when you live at home with a wife who doesn't want you to damage their walls. So all I'm doing is I'm taking one of the handles, I'm looping it around and putting a little simple knot. I allow it to drop down to the ground. And so now what I've got very simply is a resisted cable system. I can adjust the length of the pulleys by pulling in, locking it into place. Now I can do any of my normal shoulder pulley exercises. And some of the stuff that I like about this, even more than using both hands, is I can kind of vary the resistance. And what I mean by that is, obviously, let's say I use a gallon, empty gallon water jug. The more water I put into it, the more weight. I can dump it out to reduce the weight. But let's say, for example, I want to work on shoulder depression, scapular depression. One of my favorite ways in the clinic using a fancy um, cable unit is to teach my client first, hold onto the handle, let the shoulder rest naturally. I'm completely relaxed right now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actively engage the muscles below the shoulder blade that pull down and I'm doing both shoulders at the same time. Once I pull that down, that's called setting the shoulder, then I can proceed to do a straight arm pull down. I can engage my abdominals, I can engage my chest, my back, all of the musculature around the trunk. Because in essence, when I do this, set it and pull down, I'm creating space in the area underneath the acromion process above the humerus, where most of the discomfort comes in. If you've heard of bursitis or subacromial uh, impingement, that's what they're referring to. It's the space between these two bones, the bone of the humerus and the bone of the acromion, which is part of the shoulder blade. So whether I'm in an overhand grip, an underhand grip, external rotation, internal rotation, I can do it in what we call scaption, abduction, there is a lot that I can do here, but the main objective is adding a little bit of resistance, being able to quantify improvement. So if I can do two pounds day one, I can do four pounds day two, I can do six pounds, eight pounds, 10 pounds, I can see progress. And I think that's really important. One of the things that we don't get when we're using our hands on the handle is we can't really gauge improvement. We can't gauge change. So my favorite exercise here, shoulder blade down, that's setting the shoulder, elbow straight, that gives me a nice long lever arm. It's very easy for me to be close and pull down, but instead of adding weight, I increase the length of the lever arm. That is another way to increase the resistance, make the muscles work a little bit harder without increasing the load. So it's a great way to be versatile while we're strengthening and improving range of motion. So guys, if you're looking for more ideas, if you're looking for more help, absolutely talk to your physical therapist. These exercises are not intended to be medical advice. These exercises are simply ideas that you can discuss with your physical therapist to take your home exercise program to the next level. Thank you for your support. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.